Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. We are continuing our reading of the Bible. This is the Jehovah's Witness version, alright? We are in Deuteronomy 7, verse 22. So just pick up right where we left off. And Jehovah your God will certainly push these nations away from before you, little by little. Okay, so just very incremental, alright? You will not be allowed to finish them off quickly, for fear the wild beasts of your field may multiply against you. Now, that's interesting. So could you have a number of a flock to the point where it would just attract too many wolves and then it wouldn't become beneficial? And Jehovah your God will indeed abandon them to you and rout them with a great rout until they are annihilated. And he will certainly give their kings into your hand, and you must destroy their names from under the heavens. Wow. It's pretty like poof, dominating language. Nobody will take a firm stand against you until you have exterminated them. The graven images of their gods you should burn in the fire. You must not desire the silver and the gold upon them. Nor indeed take it for yourself, for fear you may be ensnared by it. For it is a thing detestable to Jehovah your God. And you must not bring a detestable thing into your house and actually become a thing devoted to destruction like it. You should thoroughly loathe it and absolutely detest it, because it is something devoted to destruction. Whoa! I didn't even remember that at all, learning that. So the idolatry point is pretty solid right here. No doubt about it. It's totally clear after you read that. Okay, so now we're in chapter 8. Every commandment that I am commanding you today you should be careful to keep in order that you may attain living and indeed multiply and go in and take possession of the land about which Jehovah swore to your forefathers. Okay, this is so the inheritance of the land. And you must remember all the way that Jehovah your God made you walk these forty years in the wilderness in order to humble you, to put you to the test so as to know what was in your heart as to whether you would keep his commandments or not. So he humbled you and let you go hungry and fed you with manna, which neither you had nor known nor your fathers had known, in order to make you know that not by bread alone does man live, but by every expression of Jehovah's mouth does man live. Whoa. Expressions of Jehovah's mouth does man live. That is, I, wow, that's pretty, very, it's very interesting. That's a beautiful way to say that. Your mantle did not wear out upon you, nor did your foot become swollen these forty years. And you well know with your own heart that just as a man corrects his son, Jehovah your God was correcting you. It was very, uh, Paternal there, yes. Yes, it's very interesting. Dynamic, right? And you must keep the commandments of Jehovah your God by walking in his ways and by fearing him for Jehovah your God is bringing you into a good land, a land of torrent valleys of water, springs and waters deep issuing forth in the valley plain and in the mountainous region, a land of wheat and barley and vines and figs and pomegranates, a land of olive, oil olives and honey, a land in which you will not eat bread with scarcity, in which you will lack nothing, a land the stones of which are iron, and out of the mountains of which you will mine copper. When you have eaten and satisfied yourself, 
you must also bless Jehovah your God for the good land that he has given you. Watch out for yourself that you may not forget Jehovah your God so as not to keep his commandments and his judicial decisions and his statutes that I am commanding you today. For fear that you may eat and indeed satisfy yourself and you may build good houses and indeed dwell in them and your herd and your flock may increase and silver and gold may increase for you and all that is your heart may increase and your heart may indeed be lifted up and you may indeed forget Jehovah your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt out of the house of slaves Wow active remembrance to know there's that's that's yeah okay 15 who caused you to walk through the great and fear inspiring wilderness with poisonous serpents and scorpions and with thirsty ground that has no water who brought forth water for you out of the flinty rock who fed you with mana in the wilderness which your fathers had not known in order to humble you and in order to put you to the test so as to do you good in your after days and you do say in your heart my own power and the full might of my own hand have made this wealth for me Ooh, look at that oh look at that so you you do say in your heart my own power the full might of my own hand no you have to say you think according to the what it's saying right here you would have to thank jehovah right now the islamic point of view of that is alhamdulillah praise to do allah right everything comes from allah so that would be i believe a theological similarity there for us to note and that was number 17 of deuteronomy and you must remember jehovah your god because he is the giver of power to you to make wealth in order to carry out his covenant that he swore to your forefathers as at this day as at this day remember Jehovah your God because he's the giver of power to you it's quite clear right there right it mentions Jehovah that's so if you're Jehovah's Witness you are praying to Jehovah you should pray to Jehovah right 19 and it must occur that if you should all, all forget Jehovah your God and you should actually walk after other gods and serve them and bow down to them I do bear witness against you today that you people will absolutely perish like the nations that Jehovah is destroying from before you that is the way you will perish because you will not listen to the voice of Jehovah your God 